This is Paul Toomey at Presentation Tree, a PowerPoint and presentation design company located in Seattle, Washington, and serving clients all across the United States. This is part three of my How to Make Icons series, which is part of uh, a cool technique that I'm calling Iconic PowerPoint. Uh, so in these three lessons, we have looked at uh, importing uh, pre-made icons that have a transparent background and working with those importing pre-made icons that have a solid background and how to edit those by removing the solid background and today we're actually going to get really creative and look at how to make your own icons so today I'm going to show you how to make these three icons these are all icons I made the cool thing about making your own icons is you don't have to worry about any issues around legality and you can customize them to your needs. Uh, all it takes is uh, understanding that uh, most icons are combinations of two or three simple shapes. And now why would we want to even make icons? Well, so that we don't end up with slides that look something like this. This is the same slide as before, but uh, it's a lot more interesting when we use the iconic PowerPoint approach and we can see that it's very visual. So here's how we can make uh, a chart icon. This is a great icon for uh, representing financial services or um, sales reports or any anything related to uh, growth, company growth, revenue growth. Uh, the tool, the uh, shape that we want is uh, the rounded rectangle shape. So we'll select the rounded rectangle shape. I've already drawn the, the, the dark circle, by the way. I'm assuming you know how to do that. Um, now we're going to draw the rounded rectangle shape and we'll edit it to get it the color and no outline that we want, which in this case is white. See the earlier lessons for understanding why we're working with just two colors, a dark shape and white icons inside of it. And now I'm copying these three and I'm going to uh, space them out so that they're even, evenly spaced. And now I'll just pull this one up a little bit and this one up a little bit more. And all that remains now is to simply grab one of these block arrows, make this white, and there you go. You've got your icon. Pretty simple. Okay, a person. A person icon. People icons are very, very common. You can, of course, pick these up off the internet, but you might like to know how to make your own. So again, I'm working with a rounded rectangle. And notice here in PowerPoint, I'll make this a little bigger, this is a really cool thing that a lot of people don't know, but if you grab this little yellow diamond, you can actually adjust the roundedness of the corners. So I'm going to round it out a little bit more to make these look more like shoulders, and less blocky. And if we go back to our shape, you see that the only other thing we really need to do uh, for the body is to draw a circle for the head. And of course I'm holding the shift key down. Holding the shift key while you draw shapes gives you the perfect shape. So that gives me the perfect circle. And I will align these two in the center. And now um, in the icon that I made for you, I created something that sort of looks like a tie. And that's really easy to do using just the triangle tool. And uh, we'll make it the same color as the shape because we just want to work with two colors. We want to keep this really simple. Icons need to be visually simple so that, so that they can be read in a moment, just at a glance. Uh, and then the last part would be to copy this shape and resize it a bit to make the collar part at the top. And again, I'm going to center the whole thing and adjust this a little bit. There we go. Now we've got our person, our sort of uh, business person, I think. The last icon I'm going to show you how to make is a cell phone. Uh, these are extremely useful. Um, 
I had already started working on that. Let me delete it. So again, we go back to the rounded rectangle. Rounded corner rectangle. And we're going to fill it with white. Choose the shape outline of none. And uh, I will actually now adjust this by moving the yellow diamond out toward the left a little bit to give it more more of a block appearance. And now uh, we need to put a another rounded rectangle with the exact same corner dimensions into the middle. So I'm actually going to copy this shape and make it the same color as as our background shape and simply reduce it in size a bit and I will center it. Now the thing about um, cell phones if you look at them there's sort of a broad band uh, a broader band at the top than the sides and so that gives it the cell phone-y look and then the only other thing we need is the uh, the little round button that's almost always on cell phone. Center it and there's our cell phone shape. So you can get really creative using just the simple shapes that are in the menu uh, of draw shapes. You, if you start getting, start thinking about it and think about what you need and you can use these in numerous combinations like I've shown you. You can layer them over each other. Uh, you can create uh, lots of different versions of the same concept. I train people in uh, PowerPoint uh, every day uh, using uh, computers. I work with people all across the country and I also make slides for people all across the United States. So if I can be of any help to you, feel free to reach out and I hope you've enjoyed the series and check back because I'll be posting more lessons.